Sorry, College Goal Sunday takes place this weekend. It's a day where you can get uh, free assistance in filling out important financial forms for college. I got a kid going off to school next year, but going through this stuff. Uh, joining me today to tell us more about it is Bill Wozniak, and we appreciate you being here. All right, just tell us the, the goal here. I know it's, it's, a, it's a process that people have a lot of questions about. They do have a lot of questions. It's filing the FAFSA, and so College Goal Sunday is a, is a time where 37 sites across Indiana will help anyone for free file the FAFSA. Okay, and how long is the event taking place at all these places? 2 to 4 p.m. at all 37 locations. Okay. Many people will come in, they'll be done in 10, 15 minutes. Some people take longer, but 2 to 4 p.m. And will colleges be there as well? Absolutely. So the people that volunteer at this, over 200 volunteers, come from the college financial aid offices. So the people sitting helping the families are the people that many families will see at the financial aid office next year and for years to come. Now, is this for really for the kids that are getting ready to go to school in the fall? Exactly, and it's for anyone. So if somebody happens to be a freshman in college, that's fine. Somebody who's a little bit older going back to school, that's fine. But oftentimes, the attendees are seniors right now in high school. Yeah, I would imagine. And you gotta, you got to do this every year, correct? The FAFSA is an annual form because the government wants to know if things changed, either good or bad. So it's an annual form. And a lot of times, people miss out on aid by not filing it the next year. So you do it every single year that there's going to be college or post-secondary education. What's the most surprising thing that people learn when they go there? Because I would imagine if they're heading out there, this is their first kind of take on a lot of this stuff if they haven't maybe done their research but they can sit down face to face and get that information not go on the internet there's a lot of things they learn one of the biggest is this wasn't so bad the number one thing people say to us at the end was this wasn't so bad the fact that the taxes can come in automatically mm -hmm. the form can grab your taxes that are needed is sometimes a surprise and again a big relief for a lot of families yeah. Um, so the event's taking place 37 locations all across, and where can you find out information on how to get involved? CollegeGoalSunday.org. Very easy. CollegeGoalSunday.org, 37 locations, wonderful volunteers. It's really not that bad, and it helps out a lot of families. And if some schools are going to be out there as well, they offer their separate um, aid. I know that happens in a lot of schools across the country, right? Well, that's exactly right. There's federal aid. There's state of Indiana aid. And then there's institutional money from the colleges. Mm -hmm. And you don't know until you fill out the form and go through the process. And the FAFSA is the first part of that process to find out how much aid you can get. Yeah, it might be, you know, with your grades and everything else, might get yourself some scholarship money as well. Absolutely. Right. But it starts with the FAFSA. Starts with the FAFSA. And so there's all the information on your screen, collegegoalsunday.org. Pretty easy to get online and figure out the location that is nearest you. And don't forget uh, your tax forms as well, right? Your W-2, bring them with you. That's right. And the good news is you can connect up electronically to the IRS, but we ask people to bring them just in case. Just in case. Bill, thanks for the information. We appreciate it.